Sometimes we talk about our forever bookshelf or uh, instant classics. And this book, this illustrated book, definitely fits that bill. The sun is late and so is the farmer. First off, it's a very curious title, isn't it? It is by uh, Philip C. Stead with illustrations by Aaron E. Stead. And once you open the book, you kind of get what the hubbub is about because it's a very softly lyrical illustrated book that's going to be geared for those young elementary school kids, even those preschool kids, just to really lose themselves in because it deals with the scope of a farm and how the different animals see the overall scope of it. Like the smaller animals, they see it as this very huge savanna, but the bigger animals, they still see it as a very big thing, but not nearly as big as the smaller animals. Where the book really hits is the way it paces itself out. It tells a story that could be so much more, but as it's presented in The Sun is Late and so is The Farmer, it's presented in a way that's very concise. And this way it allows those young elementary school kids to fill the story in with their imagination. It's very fabulous, and once you look at it, you'll say, yes, I get it. This is a book that will be in my forever bookshelf. If you have young kids, if you're an elementary school library, you're probably already yelling at the camera saying, I get that. It's a beautiful book. Make another one, but they don't make these often. That's why they call them immediate illustrated classics, and uh, that is this. The sun is late, and so is the farmer. If you have a kid aged four through seven, you want to have this in your library and you elementary school libraries. If this is not on your order list, it needs to be.